So I was going to do a video talking about the One Piece versus My Hero Academia debate that have been going on in those respective communities and just talk about my thoughts on that. I was going to mention a couple of the points brought up in Roger Bates' live stream about it. By the way, if you had not seen that live stream, I'll link it in the description. It's fantastic. Tons of people in it. Tons of people making fantastic points. But basically... I can't do that today because something actually happened today that I feel like I want to talk about, which is, of course, the stuff going on with Uasia copyright striking multiple channels. I just want to sit down and I want to talk about it. I mean, it's a serious matter for anybody in the community, especially smaller channels like me who don't have the resources. Because big, major channels are suffering from this. So major small channels like me, who are not really too important, don't really have anything they can do if it happened to them. So I just wanted to address the problem and bring it to everybody's attention and spread awareness of it. So maybe something can be done about it because it's a serious problem. So yeah, let's talk about the problem with Juecia that is going on right now. So basically, for those that are unaware, Juecia, who is the company behind Weekly Shonen Jump, basically they're the company that owns series like Dragon Ball, Naruto, Bleach, they're the ones in charge of all of that. They have been going around and attacking anime and manga and YouTube channels and striking videos that contain manga panels, even when the use of manga panels falls under the terms of fair use. Some channels have even been turned Terminated like Insidious Wade, who was given three copyright strikes and terminated, even though he doesn't even put the manga panels in the videos. No, he will just flip through the manga volumes, and he was terminated. I know Tekken 101 received the copyright strike on a One Piece review, so he can't use manga panels anymore. But I think the big one that a lot of people have been noticing is Gita 101, who received not one, not two, not three, but five copyright strikes on his Dragon Ball Super reviews. Jueisha is of course a Japanese company, and Japanese copyright laws are different from American ones, but YouTube is stationed in America, so the situation for anime and manga content creators has always been very confusing, because Japanese companies like Jueisha have a tendency to just strike a video without any regard for the fair and use laws of other countries. Of course, it's really hard to get in touch with Jueisha to deal with these problems, because it's not like Joyce has a Twitter or something. They don't really have any English speaking medium that we can communicate with them through. There's simply no way of contacting Joyce and resolving the problem via communication with the company. It is also really disappointing because this community, the anime and manga community, has a really, really good relationship with companies like Crunchyroll, Funimation, and Viz. People like Super Eye Pack Wolf and Mother Basement were even invited to the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. There are those short videos videos on Twitter are like a minute long where anime and YouTubers like recap and summarize series in under a minute which are really cool and really fun. All of that in my opinion is in danger because at the end of the day, Jueisha is in charge of a lot of these popular shows. In Dragon Ball Z Kai in the English dub when they were doing the reenactment of the Cell game, they had the guy from Team 4 Star come on and dub those characters. And Toei Animation was able to make Funimation change it. That's how much power Toei has over Funimation. How much power do you think the company that owns the original source material has? When people have been hitting up Viz and asking them what's going on, all Viz really tells them is that there's nothing they can do because Jueisha is the parent company of a lot of these theories. A lot of people have been adding Team YouTube on Twitter, trying to get in touch with them, trying to help other YouTubers get in touch with them and make them aware of the situation. But as far as I am aware, it is Thursday, September 6th at 8.17 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And to be completely honest with you, as far as I am aware, YouTube has done nothing about it. Now, there could be some stuff going on behind the scenes. But from what Geekdom 101 said in his video on the situation where he talked about it, which I will link in the description box down below, it does not sound like there's any actual person at YouTube working with people to solve this problem. As I'm recording this, I'm actually starting to worry about some other videos I have on my channel that do have situation manga panels in them for stuff like One Piece, 
and even wondering how I'm going to edit this video. I'm talking about manga and stuff in this video, but I clearly can't use manga panels from these theories. And considering Squaid got copyright strikes for slipping through a Tonkoban, I would personally be afraid to even use colored manga panels off of DeviantArt done by fans. I think what upset me the most about all of this is that there are still to this day channels that will go on the Scanlation website, which I will not name, and upload the entire chapter to YouTube with the music in the background, and nothing will happen to them. But Joesha chooses to instead go after channels like Geekdom and Squade, who everything they do falls under fair use. That just doesn't make any sense. I mean, there are people that have stated that they saw a YouTuber video on a series where they showed manga panels, saw how good the art was, and decided to check out a show, or read a manga. I just don't see how a YouTuber using a couple manga panels as evidence in a theory video or in a chapter review hurts your business at all. None of these YouTubers that are getting striked are uploading full chapters or putting every single page of a chapter in order in a video to back up their point. It's not like the video contains the full product for free. The video will typically only contain a small part of that product. I just think this whole situation is ridiculous. I personally think I'm good. I'm more prone to using clips than manga panels, so I may be in danger of getting in trouble for that. But for manga panels, I think I'm fine. I may go private like one or two videos, so if you see a couple videos disappear off the channel, that is why. Now, I really don't have anything else to say on the matter. I'm not a lawyer. I can't offer any of these people any advice besides keep fighting and doing your absolute best to save what you worked so hard to create. I can't. That's all of the advice I can offer anybody. But definitely, guys, everybody go on Twitter and at YouTube and try to tell them about this situation. Explain to them that Joesha is viciously attacking an entire community and they are doing nothing about it. They're striking us and ignoring the terms of fair news that the website has. So please, you gotta go tell them. If we make a big enough think about this, maybe YouTube will listen for once and do something. The thing is that the anime and manga community isn't a very big community. It's bigger than some communities, but it's not big enough and it doesn't have a big enough voice to get in contact with YouTube and let we all make a real think. This is something that many people if possible need to do. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave the video at that. I don't really have anything else to say. I'm gonna try to get that My Hero Academia One Piece video out next week, I guess. I'm not really good, probably gonna have time to do it until either Saturday, Sunday, or maybe even Monday. I'm looking at it having a pretty somewhat busy weekend possibly. So I'm not sure when I'll have time to do that. But I'll try to have it out by like Tuesday next week. That should be fun. A couple videos may disappear on the channel because I had to put them on private. I am probably just going to go in any videos that have manga panels. I'm probably going to have to private if they're Jewish to own. But that should be the reality of the situation. So yeah, go on Twitter, at Team YouTube, and make a huge think. That's all we can all do at this point. Also, I'm not sure what the editing in this video is going to be like. If the editing was minimum, I apologize. I'm just not sure how I want to edit this because I want to be really careful in this video with editing just to make sure I avoid getting a copyright strike. So yeah, I gotta be careful. We all need to be careful for a while because the situation just sucks.